All right, so let's go back in time to 2012, which is when I personally took the Fundamentals of Engineering exam. And in this video, I'm assuming that you already know why you're taking it, how it benefits you, and how it prepares you to take the professional engineering license later down the road. And so I talked about the FE in the past, but today I actually just want to focus on how I prepare for the test itself. And to be completely honest with you, I think perhaps the most difficult part about the test is actually enduring the test because it's a pretty lengthy test. They ask you a ton of questions. And in, in the beginning, I assure you that you're gonna find a lot of the questions pretty simple, pretty easy. But again, don't be too arrogant. Don't feel too confident because as the test goes on, especially when you get into the second part of the test, the questions are gonna get a little trickier, but I, I promise you with the steps that I'm gonna give you on how I prepare for it, I promise you that you're gonna be okay because uh, there, there's gonna be quote unquote tricky questions, but they're gonna be things that you already know or that you already studied in the past. So the first thing that I want to mention here is that the first thing that I did was I enrolled in the course through my university. Now, I do want to mention that I never really attended a class for that course because my last semester, I was taking way too many classes and uh, I didn't really have time to pay attention to another FE class course. And even it was online, which for me back then, it was a lot, uh, very hard to deal with an online class. I always preferred in person. Anyway, so fast forward throughout the semester, I never really started studying for the FE. And this was my experience, just, just me until about maybe three or four days before the FE itself. And this is how I did it. The first thing that I did is I jumped right into the water. I started taking sample tests and all the uh, sample FE tests that you find online. You have one resource here that I'm gonna show you on the screen right now. You have, if you go to NCES, that, org and you're gonna have a bunch of resources that you can buy i encourage you to buy these when i i think when i had these resources they were free however there are other free resources out there that you can use like this website right here prep fe and they give you of course this is a mechanical version but i suggest that you look into your specific discipline and so i basically started taking a bunch of these questions and i because i just wanted to gauge where I was and how I was basically, uh, how prepared I was before I even started doing anything for the test. I just wanted to see where I stood. After that, the next step was for me to build and create giant cheat sheets. And the giant cheat sheets that I created were based on the problems that I was given on the sample tests that I was taking. If I didn't know something, I would put it in my giant sheet. I would study the concept a little bit because those giant cheat sheets are going to help you memorize and remember a lot of the concepts that you haven't practiced or that you haven't dealt with in a long time, maybe since your junior year or sophomore year. So I highly encourage you to do that. So simple enough, after taking a bunch of sample tests and also making my giant cheat sheets, uh, the other thing that I did was actually using the right calculator. Please guys, I highly encourage you to use the right calculator. Make sure that you don't bring a calculator that is too powerful or a calculator that is too weak because you don't want to not use a calculator because they really are going to take your calculator away if it's too powerful. And if it's too weak, then you're going to be spending a ton of time doing things manually and it's just not wise. So I highly suggest that you practice with the calculator you'll be using on the test. So make sure that you buy that ahead of time so you have that ready. Now, the other thing that I wanna give you, another tool, another idea here is make sure that you use the handbook they give you on the nces.org website. A couple of other things I want to mention here. Make sure that you compare you how your preparation is going with respect with respect to your peers or maybe an online community. Make sure that you just you just want to gauge where people are doing, how they're doing it, how they're practicing. So maybe you can get other ideas from them. The second thing is make sure that you are <laughs> make sure that you rest before the test, right? Like, I mean, we heard this many, many times, but just make sure that you rest before the test. Make sure that you follow the guidelines and the rules they give you. And don't 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 be a rebel when it comes to if they tell you to stop writing, you make sure you stop writing because they're gonna take your test away. I remember when we were taking the test, there was a guy who was erasing something off the sheet when the guy said to stop writing, everybody had to stop writing. This guy kept writing and he was erasing and he got kicked off. So eight hours for that guy down the drain and he had to re-enroll to take the test again. So in summary, guys, if, the, if you're gonna take anything away from this video, make sure that you 
take a bunch of sample tests, a bunch of them, just don't stop, just keep taking them back to back. It doesn't matter how prepared you think you are, just keep taking them. And then also make sure that you build your giant cheat sheets. I think that's great practice and it's gonna help remember concepts. Make sure that you use the right calculator um, when you're practicing for the test, make sure that you get familiar with the buttons, with the functions, and uh, also make sure that you use the resources they give you on the nces.org website. And I think with all of that being said, you'll be all set to go and you're going to kill it. So that's all, guys. That's all I wanted to share in this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And if you like it, like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right. Peace.